Dear students, as you know, the syllabus for UPSC Engineering Services Examination 2017 has been changed completely, particularly in respect of General Studies paper. Are you really puzzled, anxious, and worried what can be expected in the examinations? Here is a solution for you. Through this video, we are trying to provide you the details of what you can expect in the examinations. As per the revised pattern, the engineering services examination is divided into three stages and the combined total marks secured in all three stages will determine the selection of the candidates. The first stage is the preliminary stage. In this, the candidates will appear for two objective type papers. Paper 1 is common for all the candidates and will include general studies and engineering aptitude. This two-hour paper is for 200 marks. Paper 2 is the engineering discipline-specific paper, which is different for electrical, electronics, civil and mechanical engineers. Candidates are allotted 3 hours to complete this 300 marks paper. The subtotal of stage 1, which includes paper 1 and paper 2, is 500 marks. And a minimum qualifying mark for each paper is at the discretion of the commission. Only those candidates who qualify this stage will be permitted to appear for the stage 2 of the examination. In stage 2, which is the mains examination, the qualified candidates have to appear for two conventional type engineering discipline specific papers. Candidates are allotted 3 hours to complete this 300 marks paper. The subtotal of stage 2, which includes two conventional papers, is 600 marks. The combined total of both the first and the second stage is 1100 marks. And those candidates who qualify in this are permitted to appear for the third and the final stage of the engineering services examination. In stage 3, the qualified candidates will appear for a 200 marks personality test. The combined grand total of all the stages put together is 1300 marks. Thus, the cumulative marks secured by candidates in all three stages will determine their qualification in the engineering services examination. You know, UPSC has mentioned only the brief outline of the topics without giving the details of what can be asked in the examinations. Hence, through our experience, we are providing you through these videos the details of the various topics. You can prepare on this line and it would become easier for you to clear the exam. Because of the rich experience in teaching and guiding students, IS Master is coming up with proper study material for UPSC Engineering Services 2017 GS paper and also we would be launching classroom program in this respect. For details, you can contact IS Master office or visit our website www.ismaster.org.